Hello, my family. Well, it is Wednesday. Rainy all day Wednesday. If any of y'all saw my um, community pictures, I showed you I was in my chicken boots. Well, you know, I said, and I'll say it again, that was the best thing I ever did. That is a mess outside, and all I could think all day long, and this is funny, I, I guess in a way, but every year that we do this, and if you know Mississippi, this is not abnormal, but every year, there's only one famous song I sing on this homestead, and that would be Row, Row, Row Your Boat. <laughs> so, we had done our chores today. I think from what we're looking at is three more days of this rain like this, but I'm going to make the best of it. I do have something that I am going to be doing. Friday is our live feed. I am going to make sure I do the live that day, y'all. Um, last Friday was really chaotic. We had been locked down inside this homestead for a week due to the freezes. And honestly, we got more coming from what I understood. So, yay! Anyways, I have a, a cup. The last time from the Doan Company... I had did the baking dish. Now, I still love that baking dish. If you have seen the video on that, and I will put the description and a link below still for that. Um, they also have a coffee cup. And, y'all, this is kind of cool. It's got an insulator. It's magnetic down there, as you can see that. Uh, I put that on the bottom, and it sticks to this, and it insulates my tea. This is actually hot tea. This morning I had my coffee. I had been testing this thing all day because when it's rain... I like my coffee, and I like my hot teas. So, and it's got a thing on the top of this, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you what that is. So, it's got this piece right here. Now, this is a piece usually that you'll put on your traveling mug, place this on top. I push it down. It's got a rubber seal, and then it slides back and forth on this. However, I will tell you, this is not spill-proof. It will spill. So if you put this in your vehicle, know that this is not going to, if you tumble it, it's going to go everywhere, y'all. Um, it's definitely not one of those. Does it keep my coffee and my hot tea warm longer? My answer is yes. Now, like I said, I've been trying this all day. So I actually kind of like this mug. It's becoming, y'all, I think I'm becoming a mug smob. I actually like coffee mugs of all different kinds, and this one here is unique. So, I'm going to get into this more on uh, Friday. But, there is, up until I believe June, I'm going to double check that. But, they have a discount code using um, a code from me. You can get uh, a percentage off. I will put that in the description box below. I will investigate a little bit more into that and, and refer that to you on this video as well. But I am getting ready to cook our supper. We have been having not so clean dinners. I mean, you all have known that. Well, we signed up yesterday for the gym. I'm looking forward to going back to that. I'm looking forward to eating healthy again and becoming healthy again. I cannot wait. We have the galvanized beds uh, ordered. They will be here next week. I have, um, and I have five of those. They're eight by four by two foot. I have a huge seed order coming in probably within about a week, week and a half from MI Gardener. I'm getting ready, y'all, to start planting. My goal this year is to have as much fresh Mediterranean vegetables as I possibly can on our own at our own homestead. That is the reasons why I went and bought even more raised beds. And if I have to, I'll get a couple more. There's no problem with that. I want to be able to grow as much as I can on my own. So I've got that coming. When they all come in, you can bet I'm going to show you guys what we have. I'm going to show you us building up the raised beds, even filling it with um, the Garden of Eden style. So I'm looking forward to all that coming. It's just now, at this moment, y'all just waiting for the shipments to get here. So look forward to those videos. Tonight, however, after eating the way we've been eating, I told you that we're going back to it way better than we used to, and especially since we have the gym membership. We are having a Mediterranean cod with a side salad tonight. So I'm going to show you how to make this cod with a lemon sauce 
and then just putting our salad together showing you the end of the plate and give you a more healthier option plus very flavorful fish so let's go to the kitchen okay my family so now we're going to go ahead and start with our cod we're going to mix our lemon sauce first so we currently need five tablespoons of lemon juice now i am actually using organic lemon juice thank you to the lovely person that sent this we are enjoying the flavor from this and you definitely got my attention on organic versus anything else from the store i need five tablespoons okay hang on one minute y'all I had all my ducks in a row and forgot that, so sorry about that. Five tablespoons. Now this is going to be my lemon sauce. Um, two, three, four, and there's five. I need five tablespoons of olive oil. Now, I still have about a tablespoon or so left over to what I'm going to uh, sear our fish in. I'm going to go ahead and clean out my tablespoon. I need two tablespoons of melted butter. I am actually going to be using melted ghee. Alright, so I am going to mix this up really good, and we're going to set this aside. Use my whisk, and then blend all this up. Just like so. Ah, it smells good, y'all. Now, I chose ghee over butter, because ghee is first of all um, a clarified butter it's a lot easier to digest and for me it just I don't know it's just I'd rather use a healthier if I'm gonna use olive oil I'm just gonna use ghee ghee is another form of butter just in a healthier form without all the fat to it or well no it is a fat <laughs> let me take that back it's just without all the um, butter the oh my gosh milk y'all i really have this i do i'm trying to multitask here and we got a lot going on on this homestead that i'm trying to keep it together i want to be back to working with you all so just forgive me we got this i'm going to do my coating next the coating would consist of one third cup of all-purpose flour now yes if you are a diabetic you're not going to use a whole lot of this, but if you are carb sensitive, um, you can opt to use almond flour if you wanted to, or maybe even coconut flour. We need one teaspoon of ground coriander. Right here. Get my teaspoon. <clears throat> All right, we need three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika. And I love this set just for this right here because this goes straight to it and I don't have to do this but one time. 
Miss Gina, you too. Thank you, darling. I love this. Um, so we need three fourths teaspoon of paprika. Three fourths of a teaspoon of ground cumin. Like so. Three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalayan sea salt. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now I'm going to mix all of this together. And this is what we're going to dip our fish in. There won't be a heavy coating. This is actually going to be done with a light coating. I'm just going to mix this all together. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so in this lemon sauce, I am actually going to be adding five tablespoons, or five cloves, excuse me, five cloves of garlic. That's a lot of garlic, but, oh my goodness, I love garlic, though. My other garlic press actually broke on me, so I found a new one, and so far I'm really, really liking this one. Okay, so... Okay... That's the most I've gotten out of any of my garlic before. I'm thinking I'm going to like this one. I stopped going to the Dollar Tree. That's where I was getting my my uh, minced garlic presses. And I decided to get one a little better. So now this one here. We'll be right back. Okay, my family, so right now our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. We have our flour mix, we have our lemon sauce mix, and now we are going to just pan sear our fish. Now we were using, we are using cod. The recipe calls for one and a half pounds of cod fillets. I'm using approximately one to two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm trying to squeeze the rest of this out of this bottle. Trying to use every bit of it I have. And in case anybody's asking, I know you've asked me before what kind of olive oil I'm using. I'm actually using Partana's from Walmart. It's about $11.96 a bottle. I try to get my hands on more as much as I possibly can. So even if it's one bottle a week. I stock up because I want to make sure I have a good quality olive oil at all times, especially now since I'm really staying conscious about eating healthier. Olive oil is one of the better fats that we could ever put in both of our bodies. Him being diabetic, me Mediterranean, that's the best thing we could ever do for ourselves. So I'm sticking to what is good. Now, I'm going to get this to where our oil is heated up, which there it is. I had taken our fish fillets and I have dried them. Now that they've been dried, I am going to actually dip this in um, our lemon mix, just like so. I'm going to coat this in lemon. 
and the garlic. And now I'm going to take this over to the flour and then we're going to lightly coat it like this and shake off any excess flour. Just like so. And I'm going to place that in my pan. I'm actually going to coat this pan just a little bit more so it coats it all the way around. Now we're not wanting to cook this fish. We're just wanting to coat this fish make it and sear it on both ends because we're going to actually put this in the oven again i'm just going to continue to keep doing this and this is why i wear my uh, apron although i didn't wear it this time so i get covered but i always tell mama said if i'm wearing it it's going to taste good so y'all i'm wearing it Good flavorful way of eating our fish, y'all. And hubby is one, he doesn't really like fish, but if it's flavorful, he will eat it. So, so far, the Mediterranean fishes, he's been eating it. And he actually requested fish one day, so I know it works well. I got one more piece to cover. I should get enough coating out of it. Yes. And then we're going to just sear these. I got a mess going on here. But, all right. All right. Now, I'm just going to sear these on both sides. Once these are seared, I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, my family, so now our fish has been seared on both sides. So now I'm going to take that sauce that we were dipping in, and I'm going to add that to our pan. This is our lemon garlic sauce. This is going towards our fish. And now I'm going to pop this in the oven. And we're going to keep this in the oven until um, our fish is flaky and done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off the heat. And now I'm going to go ahead and put our pan into the oven. I love that pan because I can do just that. I can go from here to here. So, oops. So I will be back, y'all, um, as soon as this fish is finished. Okay, y'all, I wanted to take a brief moment to show you how these uh, coffee mugs actually came shipped. They're packed exceptionally nice. They are thick cardboard bases between the two sections of these coffee mugs, and they're slipped right in here in their own sections. So these people take very good care of your products. So I definitely wanted to show that to you. I'm going to turn you, uh, we're going to speak for just a moment while... Um, our fish is in the oven. Okay, my family. So, the Dow One Company, and I already showed you about the baking dish, and I will put that uh, link in there again for you if you have not seen that, especially out those who are new. But those who have been there with me when I use that baking dish, we went ahead and we're doing the coffee mugs now, and I will tell you, these are really nice coffee mugs. The price that I have seen, uh, the link that they send me to, they are anywhere from $19.99 to $22.99. That, to me, is a fair deal on these coffee mugs. On top of that, though, this company is going to give all of my family an even greater promotion, pretty much. If you use my name as a code with 2024, so it will be Carrie 2024 you guys, you will get 25% off on this, on these, on this product. So that's pretty good, y'all. Um, on top of it already being reasonably priced, and then you, they're going to allow that to be 25% off. And this is going to go until June 30th of this year. So this is going to be a long time promotion for you as well. So I'm going to put all of this in the description box below for you. Check it out, if anything else. Just check them out, y'all. 
see what you think of them but I actually like these I've been using this mug all day today I really really like it now when I go to wash it I will be honest I pull the cork off of it and keep this cork dry it is washable but I try to keep it dry and underneath it it's got a metal magnet and then this one slides right on top of it as well as far as I know these are dishwasher safe as well too so I love this thing it's a pretty heavy sized cup but it definitely keeps my stuff warmer longer especially when I put that top on it but like I said now I have to be honest and fair it is if you're looking for this like the stainless steel ones to no drip and all that well this cup ain't that I mean it really isn't does it keep your stuff warmer a little longer yes it does uh, better than a regular coffee cup but at the same time it's not stainless steel it's stoneware so but if you're looking for a nice set of coffee cups these are beautiful I actually am really proud to have this in part of my collection so I'm definitely going to add this um, to the description for y'all and I was really really thankful one of the reasons I did take this offer is because they are offering you guys an extra 25% off the price and I told you I watched the prices too you all and when I saw I think it was the matte color of these were $19.99 then they had black white and I forget the other color but they have three other colors those however were $22.99 but even that for two good coffee mugs like this, plus 25% off, and you have until June, um, I could get me a couple sets of these between now and then. So, um, yeah, I had to share this one with y'all. I told you, if I find a good deal, I'm going to share that with you, because who doesn't love a good deal? And I feel privileged to be able to give you an extra percentage off. Just use my name, y'all. For once, you get to use me. So use me. So I love you. We'll be back. Y'all, the one thing I didn't show you yet was, do you remember those greens on the aerial garden here in the kitchen? I need to update you and show you what that is. I did a clipping off of them. Do you want to see how much came off of that clipping? That was a whole salad bowl. And I'm going to show you the update, what everything looks like on that area garden. And then the Lapot uh, hydroponic system. Definitely. I'm, yes, that one's a little bit higher. But I will say that one was a really good, really good product as well. So we are growing basil and parsley. And I'm going to give you an update on that right quick. Look at that that's where that lettuce came off of this one right here and that one right there these right here is where that lettuce came off of now granted there's some over here and then there's some right here which is arugula and that is the tomato y'all so let me go take you to the hydroponics i already had to lift this um light up on this one this is the lapot system over there is our basil, and I'm getting ready to already pick some leaves off of that. This here is all our parsley, and I'm able to actually start picking parsley off of here, and I'll be doing some of that with supper tonight. Okay, my family, so now we're going to plate. We have our salad here. We have some avocado on the side of that. I'm going to drizzle this with homemade ranch dressing. like so set that aside and then get our plate hubby wants the um hang on one second y'all so now i'm gonna take our fish that we had just baked that on the side like so and hubby he wants his coleslaw that I had made so 
So I'm going to set lemon sections on the side of this. And then I have the um, diabetic version of KFC style coleslaw. That all the only thing is with that recipe is changing the substitute sugar. Uh, making it substitute sugar in place of the sugar in the recipe. Other than that, it's the same identical thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a close-up shot. And that will conclude supper for the night. I'll go ahead and close this off. And I'll change this around so you can see it. Okay, y'all. So this is the final of our plating. We have our cod that has been pan-seared and, and baked. Our lemon, our KFC coleslaw substituted for a diabetic, and then our side salad. And some of that lettuce comes from the hydroponic system that we had grown. This is an exceptionally healthy meal. I My mouth is watering. I got to taste a little bit of that lemony sauce. Y'all, I will definitely be putting this recipe in the description box below. If you're not a fan of fish, please try this. I guarantee you will like it. So I'll be right with you. Okay, y'all, so that will end this video here today. I Like I said, I am going to be putting the recipe in the description box below for you. I am going to be putting the Del Wayne um, coffee mugs in the description area along with the code and the site to go ahead and get these. You know, folks, I'm not going to give you anything that I don't think is worthwhile. I'm not just going to put anything up here because personally, I'm just like you. If it's not affordable, it's not worth me even looking into. So these are affordable. Plus, like I said, again, use me because you got an opportunity. I'm getting ready to cook or to eat supper because my butt is going back to the gym. Y'all, I got to go back to the gym. I got to get active. I got to stay on this path. So I love each and every one of you. I will be back again very, very soon. Look for this Friday. We're going to have a live feed. I love you dearly. Until next time, from Parton's Heritage Homestead.